This is problem 437. Two blocks are connected by a string and are pulled vertically upward by uh, 160 newton force applied to the upper block. Find the tension T in the string connecting the blocks. Part A. Part B. If the blocks start from rest, what is their velocity after having moved a distance of 10 centimeters? Um, okay. Well, let's see. For part A, um, I am going to make my system be the two uh, masses together. So I'm going to have three kilograms um, like this. Um, that allows me to ignore this tension force here, at least temporarily, and I can um, easily solve for the acceleration, which actually has to do with, with, with the B part of the problem more than the A part of the problem. Um, so for this uh, three kilogram um, mass system, there is an upward force F of 165 newtons. And of course, there is a force downwards of big M G, where big M is equal to three kilograms. Um, so uh, to put a coordinate system in here, say my coordinate system is up like that, um, and um, I'm going to assume that acceleration is in the upward direction. In other words, that F is bigger than big M G. So uh, time for Newton number two. Um, which tells you that the total mass, remember M stands for 3 kgs, times the upward acceleration is equal to the net upward force. So that's F minus mg. Um, in other words, it's 165 newtons minus M times g. And A, therefore, is equal to um, this divided by M, which is 155 newtons minus mg over M. Okay, so that means 165 newtons minus 3 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second per second divided by three kilograms. That comes out to be 45.2 meters per second per second. Okay, <clears throat> we'll need that for part B. Let's use it right now. Let's use that for uh, f figuring out what the tension is. Um, to figure out what the tension is, I now um, can look at the one kilogram mass by itself. Okay, so free body diagram for the one kilogram mass. Forces acting on it are its um, m little mg acting downwards. I'm taking little m equal to one kilogram, and acting upwards is the tension force. Now I do know both of these masses are. Um, both ex accelerating upwards with this A that I've just calculated. So when I write Newton number two, which is going to be little m times A equals to the net upward force, which is T minus mg. I um, know any, everything in this equation except for T. So I can solve for T now. I can um, state that T is equal to m times A plus g, ma plus mg, and I'm factoring the m out. So that turns out to be one kilogram times 9.8 meters per second per second plus the previously calculated a, 45.2 meters per second per second. Okay, so this adds together to give me uh, 55, and I conclude that the tension is 55 newtons. Okay, so moving on to part B. Part B is a question about um, if 
the blocks move 10 centimeters, what is their velocity? And so that suggests using the kinematic equation without time. It's a velocity question, which is a kinematic question. And so um, that would be Vy squared equals Vy naught squared plus 2 Ay delta y. <coughs> okay, so I'm interested in what Ay is. The initial velocity is 0 meters per second plus 2 times the acceleration I calculated up here, 45.2 meters per second per second. <coughs> Excuse me. Times 10 centimeters, which of course is 0 0.1 meters. And uh, so um, that turns out to be uh, 9.04 meters squared per second squared. Meters squared per second squared. And Vy is the square root of that. In other words, it's 